This was before the country's general election in July 2018, one that eventually brought Imran Khan of the PTI to power. Let's break it down for you. In 2018, Saqib Nisar was the sitting Chief Justice of the country. And as per this audio leak, Nisar was heard saying, quote, institutions were pressuring the judiciary to sentence Nawaz Sharif as well as his daughter, Maryam Nawaz. During that period, both Nawaz Sharif and Maryam Nawaz were on trial before the country's accountability court on charges of corruption. This report was first published by Ahmad Nurani of the investigative website factfocus.com. And while the report claims that the authenticity of the audio leak has been verified, Weon cannot independently verify the conversation's contents at this time. The then Chief Justice of Pakistan is heard instructing a judge at the Accountability Bureau. Let's play it out for you. Let me be a little blunt about it. For the benefit of our viewers, if the former Chief Justice's words, institutions, here is code for Pakistan military's Pakistan's military establishment, which includes the country's army and the inter-services intelligence at the top. Both authorities are, at least on paper, under the purview of the civil government's defense ministry. Now, according to the report, former Chief Justice Saqib Nassar has denied issuing these instructions. He says neither the military nor the ISI contacted him or attempted to put any pressure on him. But make no mistake here, what is apparent here is the clear representation of how the deep state in Pakistan operates by exerting pressure on the right people, no matter even if they are at the helm of the country's judiciary. These entities can quote-unquote fix political leaders when they've run out of their usefulness, such as the extent of power, influence and fear of these entities in the country that it has spread across the country's civil, judicial and defense institutions. If Imran Khan, the country's present prime minister, feels that these two entities, the military and the ISI, will stand behind him like overarching monoliths of protection, he is wrong. For a day will come when these institutions may find him to be a liability. And he too, like Nawaz Sharif, may either be forced into exile or perhaps consigned to a fate worse than that. With us on the broadcast for more on these developments uh, is our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik from Islamabad. Anas, uh, give us a sense of the reactions coming in and what we know so far about the authenticity of this audio recording. Well, second consecutive week today uh, that starts and another controversy, second co consecutive uh, controversy uh, that surrounds the former Chief Justice of Pakistan, Mali, uh, that uh, basically calls uh, that he tried to manipulate uh, or uh, influence the electoral process by ensuring uh, 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 that Nawaz Sharif remains behind bars or uh, Maria Nawaz remains behind bars. Now, uh, uh, Justice Aqib Nisar has denied the allegations. He said that this is a fabricated audio. The government, on the other hand, is yet to come out clear and yet to uh, announce any investigations into the matter. Uh, the website that released the story has said that this is already, uh, the, the forensic on the audio has already been conducted. Uh, the government is trying to imply through tweets and statements that this is a fabricated audio, but no, nobody as yet has come out clear because the implications in case if this goes for a forensic, uh, the implications would be far, far more far lost, uh, lasting given the fact that uh, people who are part of the, uh, people who were part of the judge, uh, bench that had presided and uh, heard the case back in the day against the then Prime Minister are, uh, are now in uh, uh, the Supreme Court as well and are, are now sitting judges who are listening to important cases. Molly?
Anas Malik, we're leaving it there for the moment. Thanks very much. Coming back to you as and when we have further updates on that front. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.